Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my February favorites of 2016. So I don't have as much favorites in this video as I did for my January favorites. I have very few stuff because I think, I feel like every time I have like a huge month of favorites, the next month is always like very minimal. I don't know why, but that's just how it's been going lately. So I just have a few things for the month of February. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I have and what I've been loving for this month, let's just go ahead and get right into it. The very first thing that I have for my February 2016 favorites is actually a body mist. And this one is by Bath and Body Works. This is the Be Joyful Fine Fragrance Mist. This is the eight fluid ounce right here. And I know this is like a holiday or a Christmassy type scent, but I, I had to put it in here because it has been like my all-time favorite scent this month. My sister actually got this for Christmas and she let me smell it and I became obsessed with it. So I told myself the next time I make an order on Bath and Body Works, I am going to be picking this up. And luckily they were having like a sale on some of like their Christmas stuff. So I decided to snag this as soon as I saw it. As you can see, I have used a crap ton of it. At least to me, this is a lot because I just got it a couple weeks ago. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. So it's a very, I don't really know how to describe the scent. Like it's very unique. It's very like, it's very perfumey. It's very, very kind of sweet and a little bit flowery. It doesn't really remind me of like Christmas or anything like that. So that's why I think it's like a great scent to wear like all the time. But it's just, it's amazing. And I'm not one who's like a huge fan on body mist. I'm very much someone who likes very heavily scented perfumes. But I just, I don't know, I just absolutely love this and I'm so glad I bought it because I use it every day before I go into work. I use it every time I get out of the shower. I pretty much use this spray for literally everything. And this is originally, I think, $14, but I think I got it for literally like half that price. So if you're someone who, you know, is on a budget and you really want to try out Bath & Body Works stuff, because Bath & Body Works can be pretty expensive, definitely always keep an eye out for sales because they have some pretty freaking awesome ones and I love this body mist. To go along with the body spray that I got, I also got a lotion and this is the Bath and Body Works um, Shea and Vitamin E Body Lotion in the scent Twilight Woods, which this is another thing my sister also got for Christmas that I loved and I had to get one for myself. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. It's a very, very feminine, very, I don't know, it's just kind of like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's really, really nice though. So the notes that are kind of in this lotion are lush berry, sparkling mandarin, soft mimosa with the lasting impression of apricot nectar and cypress wood. So if that means anything to you, there you go. If you guys remember from a while ago, I mentioned this body lotion in my favorites, the mahogany teakwood. As you can see, I've used a crap ton of that. Um, I love this lotion as well, but this one comes in at a close second because it's really great. And I have used a, quite a bit of it. You can't really see here because I've been shaking it up, but yeah, really, really great stuff. So basically when I get out of the shower, I lotion up my body and then make myself smell even more better with this. Like this has been like my favorite combo. The next thing that I have for my favorites is something I'm super excited about, 90s kids rejoice, and that is Goosebump books. Oh my gosh. So recently I saw the Goosebump movie with Jack Black, you know, all that. It was a really, really great movie. I really liked it. And that really got to, it really got me thinking about like all the Goosebump books because as a kid, you know, my brother, my older brother, you had the entire collection. Like he had all the Goosebump books and he would let me and my sister read them every now and again. And it really got me wanting to buy all of the Goosebump books again, like all of my favorites. And my all time favorite one is this one. And this is The Barking Ghost. <sighs> oh my gosh, this brings back so many memories from when I was a kid, but I, loved this book. This is my favorite Goosebump book. If you guys don't know what Goosebumps is, it's basically a book series for kids or, you know, young kids. And it's kind of like spooky, scary stories. And yeah, they basically just look like this. They were a huge thing back in the 90s. And now they have come become like collector's editions. I'm actually in the middle of like a bid 
for Night of the Living Dummy. Like I'm having a bid war right now on eBay because I really want that one. Um, I'm waiting for five more to arrive that I really, really like, but I've been really wanting to get all of my Goosebump books again. I'm just super stoked to read these again because I haven't, the last time I read this book, I think I was around eight years old. So it's gonna be kind of interesting to see, you know, like how I still feel about it and things like that. But you just can't go wrong with R.L. Stein and you can't go wrong with Goosebumps. Like these are amazing. Thumbs up this video if you were a Goosebumps fan when you were a kid. All right, the very last thing that I have for my favorites video before we get into a couple songs that I have been enjoying is this little tool right here. It just kind of looks like this, and a lot of you are probably like, is that a pen? It looks like a pen. It is in fact not a pen. This is the Freedom Crap, I don't remember the name of it. One second, let me try to find the name of it. Okay, so this little device right here, this is the Finishing Touch Freedom as seen on TV product. And basically what this is, is it's like a little eyebrow or face trimmer for like facial hair. And I actually saw this in Dollar General and I was like, what the heck is this all about? I really wanna try it. So I picked this up and basically it just looks like a little tiny razor blade and it just has like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it has like the little light and then the little trimmer. And basically what this is for is it's for little hairs on like your face, like on your eyebrows, like underneath here or up here. Um, freaking amazing. I love this thing. This was only $10. It is an as seen on TV item, so you can never be totally sure if it's going to be worth it or not. Um, but yeah, you can use this for basically anything. You can use it for like the top of your lip here because you know, ladies, we do get the little hairs right here and... I'm not about that life, so I will use this just to kind of trim those up a little bit. And this thing has just been a savior to me. I absolutely love this thing. Um, I've used it a few times because obviously this isn't something that you would use like every single day. But from the few times that I have used it, this is an absolute win. Totally worth the $10 and I'm so glad I got it. The main parts of my face that I use this for are like the hairs up here above my eyebrows. So basically I'll just use this thing and just kind of go above my eyebrows like this or especially here I will use it. I will just kind of like trim the little hairs here so it doesn't look like I have a mustache. And then the other area where I've been using it is like the sideburn area of my face because I feel like my makeup gets really kind of nasty and cakey looking in those areas. So I'll just kind of trim the hairs there as well. Okay, moving on to some songs that I have been enjoying for this month. Again, it's another mix of two totally different things. Basically, Disturbed in one hand, Selena Gomez in the other. That is how my mood has been playing this month. It's really, really weird, and you would never think those two would either intertwine in my life, but they have this month, and I just love it. So the very first song that I have been obsessed with is Selena Gomez's new song, um, Hands to Myself. Ah, girl, I love that song. I mentioned her song, Good For You in a couple favorites videos back, like a while ago, and I love that song, still love that song, but her new song, Hands to Myself is just amazing. I love it so much. She looks so hot in the video. And every time I hear that song, I'm just like, oh, it's just so good. So that's that song. I love it. If you haven't heard it yet, go watch the music video because it's amazing. The song's really good, really catchy. I didn't like it when I first heard it because I thought it was like a little weird how it all went together, but... It's awesome. I love that song. Now, on another note, going into the rock side of things, I have been obsessed with Disturbed. This is their new CD. This is the Immortalized CD, their newest one. Mm, so good. The biggest song that I have been loving this month is, of course, and I'm sure plenty of you have heard of it already, and that is the Sound of Silence cover that they did recently. Whew, you guys. Holy crap. If there is a cover so amazing, it's Sound of Silence. I just, seriously, it is heart, oh my gosh, it, it kills me. I just love it. Goosebumps, tears, like I love this cover so much. I have not had a cover affect me so much since Metallica's Whiskey in the Jar because that's like my all-time favorite song in the whole world. But the Sound of Silence one on their newest album is... It's amazing. Another song I really like on this album is Save Our Last Goodbye. The light is really, really good. All, all in all, this album is really great, and I can't wait to see them live because I'm going to the Rob Zombie and Disturbed concert on May 24th. Woo! 
so excited you guys have no idea but seriously that album and the sound of silence song has been like my life this month i listen to it all the time i'm trying to memorize all the words but i'm having a really difficult time for some reason i don't know what it is but i just like oh i just i can't get it down but it's really really good Oh my god, that is just such an amazing song. So I have maybe about like 75, 80% of the song memorized because I want to have it like fully memorized for the concert because I just think that would be so fun just to be like belting it out as they're singing it. I hope they play it live. Like if they play it live, I'm going to lose my shit. But... And just in case they do, I will have it fully memorized. Okay, everyone, so that is everything that I have for my February 2016 favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, be sure to go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything else. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video and next month with my March 2016 favorites. I love you guys. Bye!